Hello friends, it's Brie and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a try on haul and it's a little different than what you think. You know how I do things, I like stuff short, sweet, fluffy, to the point, so let's hop right in. Welcome to Diogo with Brie. If this is your vibe, hit like and subscribe. All right, before we fully hop into this video, I just wanna call out how prime this lighting is. I literally have no additional lights during this video. Like this is literally me sitting in front of my door slash window. We all know how my door is like a window, right? And the lighting is prime. So I have got to get through this video to continue this amazing lighting. Just like the sun come in right then as I was talking about it. It's a sign. We are doing a try on haul today. And I know what you're thinking, what athleisure brand are we trying out today? Is it Aloe Yoga? Is it Bandier? Is it Beyond Yoga? Is it Lululemon? No. <laughs> we are doing something a little different today and we are trying on, dare I say it, the yoga gods might get me, jeans. There's tons of blogs, articles, TikToks, whatever, about how yoga pants have replaced jeans. But as yogis, we still need a good pair of denim. Why, you may ask? One, you can't always conduct business in your yoga pants. I'm sorry, but you can't. I've been a yoga entrepreneur for many, many years now, and there are times where you need to put on a pair of jeans. Two, it's versatile. Sometimes it's nice to change it up. Let me tell you, anytime I have on a pair of jean shorts or just a regular pair of jeans, which I actually only own two pairs of jeans, exhibit A, exhibit B, and their bell bottoms. <laughs> but anytime I do wear those, people are like, oh my God, you're so dressed up. You look so cute because they're so used to seeing me in yoga pants that it helps change their mindset and they really think I'm dressed up when I'm literally in a pair of jeans. And three, because jeans are, have gotten more comfortable. The whole reason why we're in yoga pants in the first place is because they're stretchy, they're comfortable, there's no buckles, no buttons, no whatever. But jeans have gotten more comfortable and today we are trying out a brand called Mott & Bow. I love the name Mott because it's actually a family name. Yes, it literally is a family name. I'm from the South, I have a cousin named Mott and an uncle and like, it's true. And we are trying out Mott & Bow. Um, they actually gifted a few items to me to try and I'm gonna give you the real deal Holyfield. Regardless that this was a gift or not, I'm gonna put both of these jeans on. I'm gonna do a little twirl for y'all, let you see what they look like, and then I'm gonna wear them all day long. We are starting off with our fitted crew neck called Marcy, which retails for $35. And our boyfriend jean, which is the slim boyfriend fit, and it's called Hubert, it retails for $118. I haven't zipped or buckled these yet. I just wanna show you where they hit. They hit at my ankle. Um, we're a little bit above. Now, I hate boyfriend jeans simply because I love stuff super tight. I mean, hello, I wear yoga pants every day. But this is a boyfriend jean that almost fits like a mom jean because it fits really tight. And I feel like, at least looking in the camera as I'm recording this, that this looks really good on my glutes. Now, this is a little tight for me, and I thought like I was going to exchange these for the 27 because I am a true size like three. Like I'm in between a 26 and a 27, and I thought I might exchange these, but I'm thinking I might keep them like in the 26, because they're starting to stretch out a little bit. But as you see, they have the pockets, and unlike the typical boyfriend jean, they're tight in the glutes, which is really important to me, because to be honest, I love to show off my little glutes. I'm just gonna call it out, that's, that's my thing. I work out a lot, and I like to show it off sometimes. So <laughs> I like a tighter pant. I like things that fit tighter. Uh, they also have pockets here in the front. And then they always have that like little like coin pocket, which is always so interesting. I love the color of these. Like this color is so prime. I think it goes really cute even with this shirt that I'm wearing. This color goes with like everything. I'll show you just some detailing here. So as you see, they have like just some really good stitching. I love the blue. There's also a little detailing to make it look a little more rugged. As you can see here, it's just a little more rugged there to make it look worn. And at first, like when I first kneeled down to like turn the camera on, I was like, ooh, these are so tight. I probably need to get the 27. But now that I've been moving around in them, they're starting to stretch a little bit and I think I might end up with the 26. So 
I'm gonna wear these for a few hours today and see. I love that they have a little give in the waist too, so I'm not feeling like they're like crushing my pelvis or like too tight on my stomach. And I love how high they fit. So they're not super high-waisted, but they do fit like right below my belly button. So they're not low rise, but they're not a high rise or that mid rise. I love these actually, like a lot. Like Moving into the Marcy fitted crew neck, which retails for $35. This color is called military for obvious reasons. It's that olive military color. It's buttery soft, similar to Beyond Yoga, and it has a really good fit to it. This size is extra small, and it fits right below my waistline. Now everyone knows I am the crop top queen, so there is a 99.9% .9 chance that I'm going to crop this before wearing it, but I do love the color scheme with these jeans. We are now moving on to the Marcy fitted crew neck in the crimson color and a pair of high rise skinny jeans called Orchard and they are in a dark gray. Them to show you how stretchy they are. They're like super easy to buckle and super easy to zip up, which is really nice if you're someone who wears yoga pants all day because you're not, using, not used to have to doing that in the first place. I am a millennial, but I know Gen Z hates skinny jeans and I know it's like a whole thing. And I actually tend to be a little more Gen Z when it comes to skinny jeans. I normally do not like skinny jeans. Like I never wear skinny jeans. I don't own jeans, honestly, besides jean shorts. And skinny jeans is not on my top jeans to own, but these have changed that for me. Like I feel like they're almost a dressier yoga pant. So I could wear these out for like an art show or a date night. And these are hella stretchy y'all. Like I'm literally, I could do warrior one in these. I could open up for warrior two in these. I mean, there's just so much that I could do in that. That was not my best warrior two, so don't judge me on that. But they're super freaking stretchy as you see. I'm moving around, doing some stretches in them. And I'll even just take a little yoga sukhasana cross leg position in them and they feel great. They're so much more stretchy than the boyfriend jean, 100% more stretchy than the boyfriend jean. And that's because it's a boyfriend jean, like it's not supposed to be stretchy. I'm even going to just throw my leg up. Yes, you can throw your leg up in these and show you some detailing. That's how stretchy they are. Like they are fitting like a yoga pant. Like literally, like how many jeans can you do that in? Seriously. I literally just kicked my leg up. I literally did hand to big toe pose, Arda Uttanasana. I bet you I could do a full straddle in these. Should we try? I'm gonna do it. Seriously, they're that stretchy. <laughs> that was the true test. Can you straddle? I just yeah, straddled I it. I really enjoy these. They've got pockets in the front. They've got pockets in the back. These get two thumbs up. These are a size 27. I won't need to resize them at all. There's no like detailing like the other ones where it make them look rugged. These are a little more dressy for sure. But these get two thumbs up. We are now back with that Marcy fitted crew neck. This time it's in a small instead of extra small, but they fit about the same. I went ahead and cropped this one, just tied it in the back so you could see what it looked like. All the same fitting as the original crew neck, but I think it would look better a little shorter. Welcome back. So it is the end of my day. It's not the end of the day, but I started these videos at 8 a.m. because I'm a morning person. Morning sunshine. And now it is 2 p.m. So like the last five to six hours and I can give you a full review. I love them both. Absolutely love them. Like as you saw, that black pair is super freaking stretchy. I literally did a few different yoga poses with my student in those jeans and she was like, what are those? Like, tell me about them because they were so stretchy. She wanted them too. Jean is not as stretchy, but I love the way it fits because I like the boyfriend look, but I do not like when stuff is saggy. Like I like the fitted boyfriend look, which these are the fitted boyfriend jean and I am keeping them in the 26 because as I was walking around, I felt like they were starting to have a little stretch and I feel like the 26 fits my waist so well that if I got the 27, then they're gonna start fitting in that traditional boyfriend style, which is more baggy and that's not my vibe. Like I like stuff that's really So Mott and Bo, 
thank you so very much for gifting me these items. I love the t-shirts as well. As you know, I am the crop top queen. So there is a 99.9% .9 chance these are gonna end up as thank crop top. Thank you so much for watching today's haul, even though it wasn't a traditional yoga haul. And if this was your vibe, please hit the like and the subscribe to stay tuned for my next video. They come out every single Friday. I will see each of you soon and have an amazing rest of your day.